Time for me to show you a quick, easy way to use a large curling iron to set some volume and a little bit of a constructive mess to your short hair style. The story behind this is that this morning, I was looking for a curling iron to use on my bed head hair that was rather flat and lifeless, and I came across this old two inch, one and a half, two inch Jabire de Paris iron that I'm pretty sure I picked up at Sally Beauty. And it's a ceramic iron, so the heat is distributed evenly through your hair. And uh, it is a clipping iron. I've been quite the fan of the clipless lately, So, but this was the only iron I could find. So I went to town and I'm gonna show you the secret I came up with. You'll notice that I'm putting on my black Thriller glove. It's not actually to look cool. This is for heat protection. And the best thing about this glove is you can hold the hot iron in your hand and not burn your hand. So you'll see me being able to touch it and still have fingerprints by the time this video is finished. And I'm also using spray to mode hairspray from Bumble and Bumble. This is to heat protect my hair from the iron because it is quite hot. I'm gonna spray each section before I wrap it around the iron. And I'm also gonna be using metal duckbill clips to clip in my curled sections. And here we go. Don't try to be too methodical about what you choose. Just grab a section of hair, spray the entire section, and then wrap around the iron. And hold for a few seconds. And then when you slide the iron out, keep the curl in place. you're just gonna slide the clip in against your scalp and clip in the curl. By doing this, it allows that warm curling iron section to set, so you're gonna get a lot more hold. On the top to get more body, I'm pulling my hair straight up off my head. You can get this glove from enzomilano.com and it's about $10 and worth every penny of it. What I loved about this style was I was forced to use something I had at home that I normally wouldn't have used. I you know, like to use the same tools that I'm comfortable with. And this was just something I had, like I said, from years ago. And I would force myself to use it this morning and I got a great result and got compliments on my hair all day. You'll notice it's not perfect. You know, I'm, I'm a hairstylist and I don't have time in the morning to make my you know, sections around my curling iron perfect. So I'm trying to keep it as real as possible in these videos for you, which is why I'm doing it on myself as well. I kind of feel like it's cheating if I show this to you on a model. Uh, I've got two extra hands then and I can stand behind her head and show you how easy it is. But this way you're actually seeing like how I'm doing it with the iron in the back of my head. And it does take practice, but after a few times you'll get it. That's it. So everything's set. One last mist of spray to mode. And don't be afraid to use this spray. It's a great firm holding, fl like flexible, soft to the touch spray. And the thing I love about this is if later on I wanna change my style, I can brush it out and it doesn't flake or uh, separate my hair at all or make it look dry or crispy. Okay, now I'm just gonna remove the clips. And 
that's my quick easy trick to use a one and a half to two inch iron to add great volume and, and messy sexiness to your hair in about 10 minutes. If you're finding my videos helpful, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and also add comments and questions. I love hearing from you.